Hey YouTube, it's Guy. Today I wanted to do a quick video taking a look at these Cape Cod metal polishing cloths. This is the little kit that you can buy. It comes in a nice metal tin. And, you know, looking around the internet, looking for solutions for polishing things like watches and rings, I kept coming across this name, Cape Cod Metal Polishing Cloths, and I said, you know what, I'm going to give it a try. So I ordered this little tin for, uh, I think it was under $20, $15 to $20, I forget exactly, and tried it out. I wanted to show you guys the results and give you my opinion. These particular polishing cloths are pretty highly regarded. I mean, even on, I don't know, the Rolex forums, I see people all the time that say, it's the only thing that I'll use to polish my Rolexes, the Cape Cod polishing cloths. Now, I don't know, a lot of a lot of people, I guess I would say, ask the question, and myself included, will it remove scratches? And I've seen people suggest that yes, it will remove scratches if you put enough elbow grease into it. So that's ultimately what I wanted to test. So what I'm going to do is give you guys a look at what comes in this little tin of, uh, uh, I don't know, polishing cloths, I guess. It comes with some other stuff too, and show you what my results were like. So first things first, when you get this in the mail, I ordered it from Amazon, of course, because I ordered just about everything from Amazon. You get this tin. On the top of the tin, you have the directions. Uh, rub tarnished object gently for tough jobs. Rub harder. Wipe polish off while still wet with enclosed buffing cloth. Do not wash polish off. Polish must be buffed off. Cloths may be reused over and over, however discolored. Return the cloth to the tin after use. Should it become dry, a few drops of mineral spirits or vegetable oil will revitalize. Plated surfaces. Rub very gently on plated surfaces. Not recommended for thinly plated objects. Silverware and platters. After buffing dry, you may wash with mild detergent and dry without reducing shine or protection. Uh, and then the directions in another language, I'm not sure. Uh, the tin itself is pretty nice, uh, sort of decorative. It's, you know, something that you'll probably end up reusing for other things uh, in the future when you're finished. Uh, but what's important is what's inside. Inside this tin, pop off the top, you get 12 polishing cloths. They come in, and excuse the noise as I pull these out, they come in these uh, silver bags. There's two cloths per bag. Um, I was hoping that these little bags would be resealable. They are not resealable. So when you pull one cloth out, you have this other very moist, saturated cloth that you have to figure out what to do with. I just put the extra cloth that I didn't use in a plastic sandwich bag. Also inside the tin, you get a blue pair of, uh, I think they call them nitrile, they're maybe latex uh, gloves, which I have tons of latex gloves already because I use them when I clean my firearms, so I didn't really need that. And you also get this, it's kind of like a mi microfiber cloth buffing pad. I have a bunch of these already, so I'll probably eventually use this, but I'll keep it nice and clean for a while. So that's basically what you get inside the tin. Go ahead and throw the lid back on that and set it aside. Now what I wanted to find out was would the Cape Cod polishing cloths, A, how well would it polish, and B, would it remove scratches from particularly watches and rings? That's the things that I need to polish. So I'm gonna show you some stuff that I did and I'm gonna do a little before and after on this sterling silver ring, which is my wedding band that I wear all the time. Um, just to give you guys an idea of how effective these are. Now, I already polished up both of these watches. I did the entire bracelet and case on this watch. This is my friend's watch. It's an AV8 quartz watch. And I also did my watch case for my Seiko SKX007. I'm going to zoom the camera in here and take a close look at these. And this, unfortunately, won't be before and after shots. This is just my results coming after having done the polishing. But I'll give you an idea of what it looks like. And then what I'm gonna do is show you the ring up close before, and then I'll do an after shot after I polish the ring. So here we go, let's zoom the camera in. All right, to start with, let's take a look at this AV8 watch. It's an extremely worn watch. You look at the bracelet and you can see all of the scratching on the clasp. This is my buddy's. He wears it every single day he has for a long time. 
and you can see all of the where. So the first answer to a lot of people's questions is, will it remove scratches? Well, this was done by hand. I wiped on the polish from the polishing cloth, and then I buffed it off with a microfiber cloth. And the short answer is, at least for you know five to 10 minutes worth of work, no, you're not gonna remove any deep scratches. But, uh, and since you're not seeing a before, you're not really gonna see it. It did clean up and shine up the watch really nicely. So overall, I'm impressed with how nicely it cleaned and shined up the case, but just doing it by hand for five to 10 minutes is not going to remove any significant amount of scratching, as you can see on this watch, in particular the bracelet and the, uh, the clasp. Uh, you know, again, wiping the polishing cloth on the watch or the band or the link for a couple, maybe a minute, and then buffing it off for a few minutes, you know, going over the entire watch like that. Really all it did was shine up the surfaces and clean up the surfaces. I'm still overall happy with the results, but if the goal was to remove scratches from a stainless steel watch, be it bracelet case, clasp, whatever, you're probably not gonna do it by hand, at least not very easily. Next, we'll take a look at my Seiko SKX. And what I did with this is uh, I applied the uh, polish on, from the cloth onto the case, and then I took my Dremel with a felt polishing wheel to buff it off. And again, I have some very deep scratches on the back of this case from removing it, and you can see them, they're still in there, even going at this with my Dremel's buff wheel for several minutes. It did soften the scratches. They're not picking up on the camera super well, uh, but you can see it, that there are still some very deep scratches there. It did soften those up though. I'm impressed with the fact that they're not nearly as pronounced and prominent as they once were, but it didn't remove them. I did have some scratches along the lugs from removing the spring bar, the bracelet that it originally came on. You can see they're still there right in that region, it did not remove those. Again, it did soften them up. Same on that lug. I polished the sides of the case, which were already pretty uh, unscratched, I guess, for lack of a better word, and it did shine them up really nice. You can see all the reflection there. It's nearly a mirrored finish now. There are some little scratches and swirl marks you can see right up there. It didn't take those off either. And again, this was using my Dremel's buff for well, like a felt buff wheel. Um, so again, if you want to remove some deep scratches or even pretty moderate scratches, five or so minutes of buffing away with a Dremel tool still did not do it on this watch. But I still am impressed with the results as far as the polishing and shining. It does look good, but those scratches aren't gone. The rest of the finish though is very nice. And again, I'm pretty pleased with it. Finally, what I have here, is my sterling silver ring. And you can see that is not a mirrored finish whatsoever. I'm gonna buff this up by hand, and then we're gonna take a look at it afterwards and see what it looks like. Uh, again, the finish on this is very cloudy, tons and tons and tons of little micro scratches. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna pause the video, buff this up, and take a look at what it looks like when I'm done. Actually, before I pause the video, I'll give you a quick look at these cloths. So cloths themselves, when you open the little pouch, again, it comes in a pouch like this, you cut that open, and the cloth, there's two cloths in each pouch, and they are wrapped in this little plastic wrapper. You open it up and you have this pink cloth, which is saturated with the polishing material. Now, do wear gloves. It's a very messy, I'm gonna use these uh, latex gloves on my ring project here. And I, like I said, we're gonna come back in a minute. Well, it'll probably be several minutes, but in YouTube time, it'll be a second. And I'll show you the after results of polishing up this pretty worn sterling silver ring. And then again, I'll give you another look at the finish here. It's very cloudy, lots and lots and lots of little micro scratches. Typical of what you see of sterling silver jewelry. They just, uh, 
it's a very soft material, so it does not stay like a mirrored finish for long. So I'm gonna go ahead, stop the video, work on this for a few minutes, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, so here's that sterling silver ring after maybe five minutes of buffing and polishing. And I don't know how well it's gonna show up on camera here, but it is night and day difference. Yeah, there's still lots of little scratches on it. Those did not come out. And maybe if you worked on it for long enough, it would. But, you know, just all of the cloudiness is shined right up. It's, you know, 100% better. So I guess the long and short of it is I am pleased with the results that the Cape Cod metal polishing cloths are providing. They are, however, not going to get out really, really deep scratches, at least not without a whole lot of work. Um, you know, what, what I did here in five minutes, not nearly enough work to get all those little micro scratches out of this ring. Even putting my Seiko SKX 007 wristwatch on a Dremel, I could not get all of the scratches out of the case back or around the lugs where uh, the spring bar scratched on them as I removed my bracelet a couple of times. I think maybe with enough elbow grease, you could probably really get rid of a lot of the scratches on this ring, for example but it is going to take a serious a lot, a serious amount of work. That said, I mean, I almost have a mirrored finish here. You can see me being reflected and the camera being reflected into the ring surface. It does look very good. It's just not a miracle worker. It's not going to make the finish like new, at least not without a whole lot of work. And I have not been willing to try to put in the amount of work that I think is probably required to get this back to a like new finish. So, you know, there you have it, uh, Cape Cod Polishing Cloths. Uh, again, I went with this metal tin. I'll zoom out, zoom out the camera here and give you a closer look at it again so that you know what the product is. All right, there's a wider shot there. I went with, again, the, the metal tin. You can buy the little cloth pouches individually, and that might be a better purchase if you already own microfiber cloths and things that you could use, you know, latex gloves, the stuff that the extra stuff that comes in this tin. But I do like the tin itself. I'm glad I got this. I'm going to keep it even when I'm done with all of the cloths. It's a nice place to store all of your extra cloths, uh, you know, so you don't have to throw them in a drawer or a cardboard box. So I would recommend going with this tin if you're going to go this route and pick this up. Um, final thoughts, not a miracle worker, not going to restore a scratched up watch or a scratched up ring or any fine metals to a like new finish, at least not with minor uh, polishing and buffing, the amount that I think the average person, the amount of time that I think the average person would want to spend doing this. Uh, again, I put this on my Dremel with a felt buffing wheel for the better part of 10 minutes, just, just polishing away on the back of this case. And you can still see there are scratches present. There's one down here going across. You know, it's not not gonna work miracles. That said, the finish does look much nicer. The sides, you know, they're all mirrored up again. Uh, they were kind of cloudy and hazy. Uh, you know, it's a good product. It is. Just don't expect miracles. All right, well, that's uh, everything I wanted to cover about this. Just give you guys a quick look at it, give you my opinion, so you sh show you some results on what you can expect with a little bit of elbow grease, but you know, not spending all day. Uh, thanks for tuning in. In the notes section below, you will find all of my links to social media and as well my affiliate link to Amazon for this product if you wanna pick it up. All right guys, take care, have a good one, bye.